Hey there YouTube. Okay, so today I decided to do this hair tutorial for you guys, which is basically the hair that I had in the V-necks and shorts video. Um, and it's just something that I've been doing lately this whole summer that's passed, um, you know, if I don't really feel like doing my hair. Because my hair is wavy, so, um, you know, I get pretty good waves, and if I want to just add like a little bit of curls to them, it makes it look really nice, like I spent time on it, even if I really didn't. So if you guys want to see how to get this hairdo, then just keep on watching. Okay, so like I said, I had already started it, so I'm just going to talk you guys through what I did. Basically, I let my hair air dry. On this side, I haven't even really started except for this first bang piece. But this is my air dried hair. You guys know that my hair is wavy, so... Um, this works best if you have wavy hair. If you don't, um, it might be a little bit harder for you guys to do this, but... Okay, favorite shine spray ever. Thank you again, Flatiron Experts. They sent me six bottles of these, you guys, so you know I'm going to be giving some away. I'm giving away three of them, keeping two for myself, and I gave one to my stepmom. So, three of you lucky subscribers will get this when I get more giveaway prizes. Yeah. All right? But anywho, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite shine spray, and it's a heat protectant. So what I do is I just kind of shine, sh I shine it through my hair. No, I spray it through my hair like this okay and you want to do this in a well ventilated area is what it says but I'm in my room but it's all good the only downside like I said to this is it smells like guy cologne so if you don't like the smell of that that might be a little bit bad for you guys but it's all good so then you have to make sure that you split your hair down the middle that's what I did okay and then I pull all my hair to the front that way I know that I'm getting um the majority of the hair you know we're not doing the whole entire head curled because this is just going to be like a messy little wave okay it's where I didn't really um, curl the whole head but I curled little pieces of it and made the whole thing look really really yeah so let's go ahead and get started alright so I have my mirror right here next to me so I'm going to be looking at my mirror the whole time but you guys will still be able to see what I'm doing I know I should have wore a lighter shirt matter of fact I'll change alright so I threw on a white shirt for you guys so I'm using a one inch barrel curling iron from Paul Mitchell okay and what you do is you just kind of take random pieces so let me just kind of get up for you guys here let me get situated I gotta hold the mirror with my feet okay so you're gonna just take any random pieces in your hair like if I was to go here and you want to curl them away from your face but what you don't want to do is go all the way up to here because then you're going to get a boing and you don't want to keep it on there very long and when you do it just kind of pull some of the pieces out like this and that's going to take away from some of the curling and make it a little bit more of a wave because it's going to be like a curly wave like a messy kind of curly wave see that and so you're not going to leave it on there for very long so if I was to do this piece under my bangs you're going to take it and you're only really curling the ends and you're not even going to do it that long so for the bangs however you want to make sure that they are kind of going away from your face like this in a curl and that's all you're doing you're just taking random pieces of your hair and curling them I'm going to turn off my fan so you guys can hear me better but you're just going to take random pieces, and it doesn't matter how thick or thin these pieces are. You could do a really thin one if you wanted to, such as this one. And like I said, you're not keeping it on there very long. Or you could do a thick one like this. Okay. So you just want to kind of go all the way to the bottom, oopsie, my mirror's falling, of your hair. Like right here, and then like these pieces right here, oh, that one didn't curl all the way, let's do it a little bit more, and that's all it is basically, see, and then again I have to do it to this side, so you're just going to take all your pieces, if you have wavy hair, that look just wavy, if they don't have like a little bit of a curl to them, then you want to make sure that you kind of recurl them. And this is like a super simple hairdo, you guys. This is perfect for school because you don't have to be precise. You can just basically do it 
however you want. I'm gonna put my mirror down and try to just do this for you guys. Ugh. Like I said, you don't need to be precise. You could just take hair like this and make sure that you curl it away from your face and only at the tips. And this was basically the hair that I had in the um, v-necks and shorts video. And then, like I said, the bangs you want to curl away from the face. And then, you're going to have to be a little bit more precise with the back of your head, though. So you're going to have to take like the mirror and look at the back of your head because you are going to have some pieces in the back that didn't get curled. If you have layered hair like I do. Which my layers are all pretty much growing out, but that's basically it. See that? So then you're going to just, what I do is I kind of throw all my hair back and then I look in the mirror to see what pieces are still straight. And I don't, I can't tell you guys what pieces are still straight because I don't have a mirror. Well, I do, but not another mirror. You guys get my picture. Or what? I don't even know what I'm talking about. You guys get my drip. But, um, and basically all that is. So let's just pretend like um, airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding, guys. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Let's just pretend like um, I looked at it in a mirror and I found all the pieces that were kind of straight and I fixed them, okay? That's what we're going to pretend. And then our hair would be complete. That's it. And see how simple and fast that was? Definitely good for school because you're not sitting here having to make every curl look good and yada yada and then if you want to you can just kind of put a little bit more shine spray to add some shine to your hair and that's that so I hope that was a little bit helpful for a hair tutorial for um, you know going back to school because it's pretty quick or just because you guys requested the hair tutorial that I had in the v-necks and shorts video or just because you guys wanted another hair tutorial from me yeah, did I nail it, you guys? Did I nail it? See? And that's basically it. Nothing crazy. It's a lot easier than you guys think. Some of my hair tutorials, let me tell you. But let's just pretend, like I said, that this is all curled up. You know, because I curled it. That's why I put all my hair right here. That way, you guys can see... If you have hair that needs to be curled, like say if I didn't like how straight this one looked, I could curl it. And just like that. So yeah, that's that. I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll talk to you later. Bye YouTube.